In this high energy circuit workout, we'll be using the step for cardio, dumbbells, and a mat. So if you're ready to blast the calories and have some fun, let's get started. Okay, give me that little shift again. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna be using the step for the cardio. Remember, you don't have to if that's just not your thing. And it's not step aerobics, okay? It's simple movements, usually two movements together, okay? So I'm gonna go to my first movement, which is a step knee, down, step knee, down, up, 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 and again. Okay, obviously you could do this on the floor, right? Tap, 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 down. Step knee, reach, tap, this is lower, right? Go. I'll show you higher. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's an odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could do this just like we did before, okay? You could also tap your toe in front of you. Just like that, okay? Tap. One more. Quick tap, or not quick. Hold, little bounce. Feet don't have to leave the ground, we're going the other way. Knee tap down. Knee tap. Now tap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See how I kept my foot on there? That makes it easier to go to the next step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Use the arms. Two more times. Tap. Last time. Okay. Grab one. I'm going to start lighter. I'm going to start with a 15. You have two options. I'm going to start over here. You can do a step up or a squat in. Okay, this is my first cardio class back after having COVID. I thought it was the flu, turns out it was COVID. Yay. Make sure you sit back and keep that heel down on that stationary leg. You don't have to be on the beat. I'll tell you when and we'll switch sides. Okay, you got about 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Other side, four, three, two, go. Remember, you could be here. Same thing. You just get a deeper range of motion here if you squat. Remember, take your time. There's no rush. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Lighter weight. Up, out, up, out, okay? Then we'll reverse it at the halfway point. Okay? Three, two, one. Go straight up in front, slowly out to the side. Same thing. Whoa. Keep those arms slightly bent. 
Take your time. Okay, get ready to switch sides. I mean, switch directions. Now go back to the side and bring it down the front. You got a slight bend in the knee to help you stabilize. Abs are engaged throughout. So I'll probably go heavier on the next round. Okay, last three, two, one. All right, we're gonna repeat those three movements. That knee up, tap down with the quick heels or the slow. We're tapping the floor. Ready? This way. Knee up, down. Now, heels or toes. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Knees. Knee, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, that can be done on the floor. Especially if you have higher stuff. Watch me follow my face. Entertainment purposes only. One, two, three. Four more. Okay, tap. Three more. Maybe you could be here on the floor. Go again, two more. Tap. One more. Don't slam that foot. Barely tap those toes. Little bounce center. We gotta go the other way. Little break. All right, go. Knee up. Tap. Quick heels. Remember, it can be slow as well. Go again. One, two, three, four. And again. How you doing? Are you getting warm? I am. Keep the abs tight. Almost there. Tap. One more. Rest. We got that step up. 45 seconds, 45 seconds. I'll do 20 pounds this time. I can tell I haven't done cardio. Oh, cardio is one of, endurance is one of the first things you lose, but it comes back quickly. A lot of coughing. Oh, it was good times. All right, here we go. Remember 45 seconds. Work on your depth. So you don't want to just go to here. If you're going to do that, don't do the step up or squat deeper. Get out there. If you feel more comfortable not being elevated, do it on the floor. Drive into that heel that's on the step or the floor. You got 10 seconds. And time, other way. Okay, get ready. Bring that up, keep that chest up. Three, two, go. Make sure the knee isn't going forward. You're sitting back into the hips. Try not to push off the foot on the floor. Drive into that heel. Remember, keep, those, keep your chest up. 15 seconds. And time. We got that shoulder exercise. 
Now here's where I wish I had like a six and a half. <laughs> so we're gonna go out to the side first on this and then down the center, okay? Up, down, up, down. Oh, this is fine. I thought it might be too heavy, but it's all right. Remember, there's nothing wrong with starting heavier and then switching mid-set to something lighter. That's actually a great way to progress to the next weight. Because that's what you want to be doing, is always progressing. Now reverse it. Up, down. So it gives you a little break at the heart rate. Hopefully, you got 15 seconds. Okay, three, two, one, little break. Block one complete. I'm turning the air down. Okay, we're moving on. Okay, so you're gonna just give me a kick, corner, corner. Get your whole foot on that step. Obviously, you're on the floor, you're doing the same thing, you're just not stepping up, right? The number one thing I see with step is people don't put their whole foot on. Step on your heel. If you continually just step on the ball of your foot, you're gonna hurt your knees. Don't do that. Okay, listen. Give me a knee. Little, okay. You don't feel comfortable with that little bitty bounce, don't add it. So I could be here. Remember, you don't have to jump. You could just be going step knee, step knee. You could use your mat as a guide. Okay, now instead of this knee, I'm gonna make it a jump kick. I am gonna add on to this. Remember, get your whole foot on. Okay, listen, three knee repeater. One, two, three, switch sides. If you're using the step, make it to where you can't hear yourself step up. Let's go back to that kick. Now, with or without the jump. Three knees. Remember, use those arms. Kick. Three knees. I'm gonna split that in half. So kick and kick, and then three knees one time. Now kick and kick. Three knees one time. Make it bigger. Kick. Three knees one time. Kick. Whoa. Three knees, can we do it one more time? Yes. Kick. Whoa. Three knees. Last one. Boom. Three knees. Okay, legs. It's kind of mean to do legs after cardio, but you know. Three options. Elevated lunge. Easiest, okay? Floor, harder, okay? Hardest, back leg, rear elevated, Bulgarian. I'm not gonna use weight. I'm gonna do, well, no, I'm gonna do the elevated. Rear elevated. Remember, if lunges are not your thing, 
highly recommend front leg elevated. I'll do that for a little bit. Okay, pick a leg. Take it back. You're not too close together. Straight down. What I love about elevated, look how deep I can get. Less tension on the knee. So I can get more parallel with that thigh. Or you could be here. Just don't let the knee go forward. I find it easier to keep that knee neutral on that front leg elevated. Okay? You got about 10 seconds. So if you're here, make sure this knee isn't going forward. Knees back here. Three, two, one. She's like, how convenient. She chose the easier option or the harder option for about 10 seconds. Not even that. Okay, switch legs. True. True that. Okay, you ready? Go. Straight down. So we're trying to get this thigh parallel or deeper. Get the, if you can get those hips below knee level and you're good, that's awesome. Add some weight to it. I'm just testing my hamstring. I know, I'm just like a buck, a laundry list of what's wrong with this girl. <laughs> One thing after another. Make sure this foot isn't turned in. I see that a lot, especially with women. There's a little turn in with the toe. Neutral, okay? You got 10 seconds. Here I go again with the 10 seconds. Well, the fun part is getting in the right position. Three, two, one. Oh, that was so hard. <laughs> reciprocating row. I just like using the word reciprocating. It makes me feel intelligent. Right? So you're going to come down. One, two, three. Come up and then switch. One, two, three. And if you mess it up, you mess it up. Since we're going to repeat it, Start with one arm each time, and then switch it on the next set. I'm gonna do 15s. Because you have a minute. Minute to win it. I've never seen that show, I just know the phrase. Okay, feet inside, hip width, ready? Go. One, two, three. I think I'm gonna stay on the same arm. So I don't have to think. Flat back, bent knee. Put those hips back. Abs in, of course. That's a given, right? So obviously my right arm, because I'm pulling it twice, getting more work, so I'm gonna make sure I switch on the next set. So you also get a little bit of Torso twisting, little core. That adds up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. My nose is sweating. It's always my nose first. We're back where we started. So we got that kick, kick, three knee repeater. Make it as big or as small as you want. Four, three, two, kick. Two more. Three knees. Now I'm gonna see if I can touch my heel. Hey, I can, switch. Two more. Get that whole foot on the step. That just makes you bring your knee up higher. Kick. Only jump if you feel comfortable with that. Repeater. Okay, let's cut it down. Kick. Repeater. 
kick. Repeater. Kick. Repeater. How are you? Kick, you look good. Repeater. Kick. Repeater. Kick. Repeater. Let's do one more each way. Repeater will take us a little over, but it's all right. Kick. Repeater. So I made the rule. I get to break the rule, right? Because it's arbitrary. Sometimes we set goals for ourselves and they're arbitrary. And then we're not happy when we don't reach them. So we got that lunge here. I'm actually gonna do this one, I'm liking it today. I like how deep I can go with it. Well, I'm gonna add weight, because I feel like my hamstring is okay. You got about 45 seconds on each leg. Remember, choose which version you like better. Straight down, shoulders back. I like the depth on this one. Push into that heel. Now you want a little more glute focus? I can't look at you and do this. Lean forward a little more, but don't round. So you tip forward, a little more glute bias, okay? You're still working your quads, you're still working your glutes, even if you're straight up and down, you just get a little more bias on it. Okay, almost there. Ooh. And time. I'm distracted by the clock. That's my excuse. I'm full of excuses. Okay, man, we got 45 seconds. Ready? Go. So make sure you're not too close, okay? Get this knee behind your hip. Ooh. Shoulders back. Keep the upper back engaged. You're working those muscles. Ooh. Everything feels hard to me today. I know. Hey, if you're in the same boat, I've seen that so many times people will come back after being out for a while and they're so hard on themselves. It's like you just got took a break, you were sick. It's normal. All right. Yay. Reciprocating row. So I was leading on the right, my right. Now I'm going to lead on my left. That's another thing I mean by like arbitrary goals. I've had clients that are like, I want to be this exact number weight. 117.5. And then... They hit all these milestones, stronger, leaner, whatever, but they're 119. They're not happy because they didn't hit the 117.5. Remember, that number is not important, okay? Lecture over, two, three. I hate seeing that. That number doesn't define your value either. One, two, three, drive up. I think I weigh 22 more pounds than I did in high school. Yeah. I probably weigh 10 to 15 more pounds than I did before I got pregnant. Do I care? No.
I've seen too many, I've seen almost three decades of women and men, I've worked with men, beating themselves up for some number. It's not worth it, it's a waste of your life. Think how much mental energy and anguish. I know, I'm on my soapbox. It just saddens me. <laughs> One more. All right, you get some water. I was reading an article in Men's Health. I read Men's Health. What I like about men's magazines, and they have their issues too, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, is it's not so much focused on thinness and beauty. They're talking about, they did this survey of men, normal healthy weight. 70% of the respondents were unhappy with how they looked. They spent a lot of time pinching their body and criticizing their body in the mirror. Men. Women were proportionately higher in that number. Even normal weight. Okay. So, let me show you on the floor first. Okay, step back. It's called an eye step, okay? Same thing on the step, you're gonna step up. Now, I know some people don't feel comfortable jumping on their step, I get that. Tap out, down and then jack. Go up, tap out, down. Just know the width of your step, okay? I am gonna add on to this. Okay, I want you to reach up three times to this corner. One, two, three, go the other way. You could be doing this on the floor. Okay, we're gonna go back to that I step. Step up. Again. Reach up three times. One, two, three. I step. Reach up three times. Let's cut that in half. Don't let your mind wander. I step. Reach up three times. I step. Reach up. I step. Reach up. I step. Three. Okay, one more set. I step. Reach up. I step. I almost forgot the jack. Okay. March. I'm gonna eat my Wheaties today. Man, that's an old reference. Okay. So we have RDL. Okay, squat, okay? I'm going lighter than I normally do. No shame. Remember, you got one minute. RDL, and then your squat. You got a whole minute, so no rush. Shoulders back. Shift those hips. Let those hips travel back. Keep the weight close to your shins or your knees. The more they hang out here, the more tension on your low back. And no benefit to the glute or hamstring. Sounds like a lose-lose to me.
Try to get the depth on that squat. You're almost there. 10 seconds. Don't drop those shoulders. Three, two, one. I wanted to get the squat in there. Okay, hammer curl, standard curl. I call it a standard curl. Sometimes it's called a conventional curl. Bump, 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 okay? This one, usually harder. I'm gonna go 10. Ah. And if you mix up the order, no big deal, okay? Hammer, turn it up, and then out. Hammer, thumb up, thumb out, thumb up. Keep those elbows close to your side. Make sure you're straightening the arms in between so you get that range of motion in there. <laughs> I went blank for a second. Brain fog is real. I definitely had a harder time with COVID this time. I had it before, two years ago. It was like nothing. I was just extraordinarily tired. Like no energy whatsoever. Almost there. Don't swing that weight. If you're swinging it, go lighter, rest, jump back in. Angled up, out, and time. You can tell how old this music is. They got the... I need like strobe light in here. I would have to have a seizure warning though. We don't want that. Okay, we got that eye step and the three reach repeater. Take a break whenever you want, okay? Four, three, two, I. Remember, you could be doing this on the floor. And again, reach up three. Get that heel on there. I step two times again. Reach up. Now remember, if you are doing that jack on the step, know where the ends are. <laughs> One eye step. Reach up. Eye step. Three. Eye. Three. How you doing? Eye. Three. One more each way. Eye. Three. I step. Three. RDL squat. Okay. Three, two, one. RDL. Squat. Okay. Now remember, you could vary the width of your legs. Some people do better with a wider on the RDL and the squat. Some people do better with narrower. There's a lot of factors that come into play. Keep those shoulder blades squeezing together. Keep those knees soft. Let those hips travel back. Come 
caps pulled in. Okay, last one. Bicep. Three-way bicep. I think I'm gonna do 12. 10 felt a little too easy. Okay, get ready. Hammer, standard out to the side. Hammer, turn, out to the side. You'll also feel your forearm, which is important. Now, if you wanna work even those smaller muscle groups, it's not just the glamour muscles. Things like twisting open a jar. Those are things we take for granted when we're younger. We want to be able to do stuff like that, right? Oh, milkshake, that sounds delicious. Mm. Oh, this 12's getting heavy. I know, 12. Mm. Remember, it's all relative. Your body doesn't know what the number is. It just knows resistance. Oh. Three, two, one. Perfect timing. You got to rest. Okay, we have our last round. Our last round. Woo. Okay, while you rest, I'm gonna show you the floor version of this cardio. Okay, you keep resting, if, or you can join me if you want. Up, up, and then step knee, and then you're gonna go the other way. So it's an L step, okay? Go across, bring it back, knee, other way, okay? I find it easier on the step, because you got that step down, but if you're not using this step, that's okay. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm going this way. Four, three, two, knee up. Go across. Up, up, knee off the back. Go the other way. You could even go behind your step, behind your step, and then knee step back. So if you, that step feels way too long for you. I'm tall, I'm five eight, so. For some people, depending on their step, okay, it can feel really long. I'm gonna show you a harder option. I turn in, I turn in. That's called a half turn. You don't have to do it. You gotta lift this heel. Don't turn with the heel down. And if it makes you dizzy, don't do it. Watch your footing. Notice I'm not looking at you very much. I'm watching my feet. Whoa. Okay, here's a little cheat. I step off the back. Okay, so I don't have to go all the way across. You got four more. Three more. Two more. Last set. Nice. How'd you do with that? That across the top can be challenging, especially if you're a little bit shorter and you got a longer step. Walking lunges. Done, done, done. Okay, and I always start with the back leg. One, two, three. And then I start with the back leg. I'm adding weight, you don't have to. Okay, are you ready? 
Start with the leg furthest from me. Go. Turn around. Take a nice big step. Now, traveling lunges are a more challenging version of a lunge. You're not ready for that. Forward lunge, okay? Reverse lunge is the easiest traveling, okay? Where it's moving, choose one of those, okay? If you're not ready for traveling, or you are, but you're not ready for weight, that's fine. That knee ends up over your heel. Take a big step. Don't take too small a step. Look what happens to my knee. Right, that's tension on the knee. Land on that heel. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. Shoulders back. Three, two, one. Okay, this is a weird exercise. <laughs> Overhead carry. You're just walking around. Engage the arms. They're not here, they're not relaxed. Engage. I'm gonna do 12. Now, if you've never done this or you're not sure, start with a little bit heavier weight and if you have to switch mid-set, you have a whole minute, okay? Okay. And then you just walk around and you're gonna feel your core working as you walk. Come on, engage the arms. You're not bringing those shoulders up to your ears. Don't arch your back. Now this, if you're grabbing a really light weight and you're like, I don't get what we're doing. That means your weight's too light. Just like any exercise, it needs to be challenging to work. Ooh, do you hear that tone in my voice? Okay, so I feel like I'm going to lose my form. So I go down and wait and I keep going. Isometrically, you're working the shoulders. You're working the traps. Your core, your triceps. Oh, a little bit of upper pec. You might even feel your lats trying to stabilize that weight. Feeling your side like rib cage. 10 seconds. You only have to do this one once, because this is it. Oh, three, two, one. Ah, I felt that. Amazing, amazing, amazing job. Are you glad that's done? <laughs> Big inhale. Exhale, one more time. Thank you so much for working out with me. I always appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye. You did a fantastic job in that circuit workout. I hope you had fun and I hope you're proud of yourself. Now, if you're looking for more fun, sweaty workouts, check this one out and check that one out and I will see you next time. Have an amazing day. Bye.